Hi, good morning. How are you all doing today? It's a beautiful day here in Lagos, Nigeria. How are you all doing? How is uh, your week going? How is the year going? Okay, I've been getting uh, calls from people in diaspora asking why why the need to invest in Lagos, invest in real estate in Lagos. Uh, by the way, uh, if this is your first time of watching my videos, my name is Osekwame David from the Vault Real Estate Services. What I do all the time is give you the right information that help you make quality real estate investment decisions. Okay, good morning again, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching from. I've been getting emails, I've been getting calls, I've been getting questions. People majorly in diaspora, Nigerians and Africans in diaspora, you know, asking why, why do we always advise people to come invest in Lagos? What is the idea? Why? Why Lagos? Why not anywhere else? You know, Port Harcourt, Abuja, uh, Enugu. Yes, these places are great places, right? They are all great places, uh, you know, but in real estate investment, people are looking at the place to get quick return on investment at the shortest possible time. So I'm not saying that investing in real estate in other cities in Nigeria are not great. You know, I mean, Abuja is a great place to invest too. Come on, uh, Port Harcourt is a great place to invest too. But we are looking at Lagos because of um, the infrastructures, you know, that are in Lagos or that is in Lagos, okay? But it is interesting for you to know that real estate drives on population i'll take that again real estate drives on population all right amount of people in a city or in a state or in an environment determines how fast uh, a property appreciates all right because it's just like what you do in economics supply and demand thing you know, where there is uh, limited supply the demand is high so when there is too much supply the demand you know could you know be below all right so in this case where there are you know a lot of people in a, in, a, in an environment the demand all right it's usually high okay the demand for real estate is usually high because there is a lot more people looking for you know a very limited uh, space and you know that real estate is limited real estate is limited precisely land is limited you cannot uh, recreate land you cannot uh, manufacture land you just make do with what is available all right and, and that is the reason why Lagos is top on that list. Okay, I will just give you the biggest real estate market in Nigeria. We have Lagos, we have Abuja, we have Port Harcourt in that order. Lagos is the biggest, Abuja following, and Port Harcourt, you know, the third largest, you know, uh, real estate uh, investment hub or market in, in the country, Nigeria. And so the reason why we are talking about Lagos is because of the population density. Lagos is highly populated, close to 20 million people approximately it could be more 20 million people reside in lagos state as at today this is 2022 all right this is may 2022 okay close to 20 million people reside in lagos it could be more you see that is a determining factor the major determining factor to invest in real estate because the demand for spaces to live to do business is really really high okay and every single day besides the number we have right now every single day over 60 persons come into lagos to live not those who come to do business and go back over 60 persons come into lagos every single minute every single minute so in one hour we'll have close to 3600 300 persons coming into lagos every single hour all right now multiply that for a day multiply you know that for a week all right so the population of lagos is steadily increasing okay that is one thing you should look at before you invest in real estate the market here is huge the market here is huge and number two the infrastructure is another great thing you should also look at okay lagos is the fastest growing economy in west africa Yes, Lagos is the fastest green economy in West Africa. It is the state with the highest infrastructure development in Nigeria. All right. No offense to other states. Lagos is like 20 years ahead of other states in Nigeria. Okay. No offense in terms of commerce, in terms of infrastructure. Uh, we're going to 
well, let's not go there. <laughs> in terms of infrastructure, I was trying to bring in Abuja into the picture, but you know, Abuja is a capital city. But so let's not just go there. All right. In terms of commerce, in terms of infrastructure, Lagos is close to 20 years ahead of other states in Nigeria. It's, a, it's the fastest growing economy in Africa. All right. And with the level of infrastructure that is ongoing right now, I'm talking about the almost completed Dangote refinery in Igbeju, Lekki axis of Lagos. It is going to put Lagos State on the map, on the world map as the largest you know, economy or the largest investment hub in the whole of Africa. Yes, because the Dangote refinery is the largest single train refinery in the whole world. Yes. And if you, you are not informed, we also have, or uh, Lagos, you know, <laughs> have uh, uh, the Dangote petrochemical and fertilizer plant that is already in operation right now, okay? And also, uh, the Lekki Deep Sea Port, okay? Lagos have uh, the seaport in Apapa, but there is another seaport that is being constructed about 85% complete around uh, the Igbejuleki area, just a few minutes away from the Dangote refinery, okay? And we also have um, the Lekki Free Trade Zone, which consists of about 17, you know, uh, companies, you know, trying to, you know, build a mega business hub in, in Lagos. And not to talk about the entertainment uh, 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 part of Lagos, uh, entertainment industry, uh, logistics industry, e-commerce, and what have you, Lagos State is, is huge in terms of commerce, in terms of entertainment, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of population. And these are the things that drags people into every city or any city, all right? And, and because of this infrastructure, people will naturally want to move into Lagos because they want, they want better opportunities. You know, people want to live close to where they are place of work is their yeah, uh, place of business is and by that they will want they, they will want to settle down have kids and their kids will need to go to school you know so as these infrastructures builds up there is need for settlement there is need for settlement there is need for expansion there is need to build uh, you know life around these places and this is the or these are the major factors why real estate in Lagos appreciates you know very very fast okay these are the these, these are the reasons and that is why and that is where you come in as an investor all right you do not have to have so much money you can invest in real estate in three different areas number one you can invest in real estate for you know, land banking because every single day new areas open up in Lagos, you, you will just have um, a slice of these places so that as these places develop properly, you know, you're, you, since you have been there and you bought at a cheaper rate and your land has been there, these lands appreciate, you know, from a smaller amount, you know, in value into something big, you can decide to resell or you can decide to build in something that will accommodate the population that comes into that area all right that's in one area land banking and on that area you invest in real estate is buying and selling okay you can decide to buy uh, property apartments lands and then resell in in a very short uh, frame six months one year depending on you know what uh, you know what what fits you or what suits you okay these are areas you can invest in real estate. You can either buy land or buy apartments or homes to resell, or then you can either buy for rent out. Okay, people buy a large si size of land, you then rent it out for lease. For people who want to, you know, do good warehouse like some parts of uh, Igbejuleki where the, the Dangote refinery is and some other companies. You know, there, there, there is need for warehouse. There is need for storage point. And if you have a size a sizable amount of land in, in that area you can you can give those places out for lease and make money all right and you can decide to buy homes buy apartments and then rent it out okay another 
business that is booming in Lagos right now is a short let business, short let apartment business. It's more like um, Airbnb in, in, the, in the other part of the you know uh, the developed world, whereby you know you 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 get an apartment, furnish it in a lovely or in a luxe way, and then. Um, people come in to rent it is more like a home away from home there is kitchen there is uh, you know things to you know, get food you know, people come there to just relax for the weekend people come there for honeymoons people come there to shoot uh, movie videos people come there to do music videos people come there for party people come there for photo shoot you know it's a really really thriving business in lagos and a lot of investors are making a ton of money from this investment so we've mentioned for right number one for land banking number two for you no know, flipping buying and quick resell number three for rent or lease number four it's you know the short let apartment short let apartment is very very different from the regular rent where you take the long uh, lease or rent where you do annually uh, every two years every four years or every ten years but short let apartment is more like pay as you go. All right, people can come and you know pay for a week, pay for two weeks, pay for a few days, you know, and you just get your money quickly. This is a very very lucrative business, but it is majorly done in the very very urban part of Lagos, like the Lekki Face One, the Victoria Island, Ikoyi, some parts of. Um, I'm not sure if you know these names. Some parts of uh, uh, Lekki Phase 2, that Chevron, uh, Osaka, London area. All right. If you don't know these places, I can you know talk to you about them in the comment section. Just ask me or call me and I will explain to you. All right. So for Charlotte Apartments, these are really top areas that you can um, you know invest in and and and. In all of these, if you are looking at renting, sorry, you are looking at, you know, investing in homes, there are also fantastic offers you can quickly put your, your interest in. It is called off plan. This is a, a, a process whereby you invest in properties, in homes or apartments as they are being built. Right, I'll take whereby it again. It is a you process. invest in properties or homes, apartments, as they are being built. And so that gives you the opportunity to get into the market with low capital. All right. In this setup, you are expected to either pay the whole sum of money or you pay in installments. Sometimes it could be in three, it could be in six, it could be in 12, 18, or 24 months in installment payment plan. And if you have access to mortgage facility, yes, it is also mm, another way to invest in these off-plan projects. So the idea is that the developer or the company that you are investing with shows you the plan of how this building is going to look like and you are required to make a deposit. So your deposit is more like your commitment to say, okay, I want to be a part of it, all right? And so this gives you the uh, the leverage to enter into the real estate market with a small capital because instead of, let's say the house is 50 million naira and you are required to just make 5 million naira deposit. So you see, you are entering the market with 5 million naira hoping to get, you know, to make the full payment in you know a, a period of time maybe three six twelve eighteen twenty four months you know and in some cases 36 months okay and time to the market that you start making the payment in installment and before you know as the house is being completed you've already done your payment voila you are a, <laughs> a proud owner of whatever apartment you made payment for two three four bedrooms maybe a terrace maybe a, a, a duplex a semi-detached depending on what you are paying for okay so that is how it works okay so the the, the great thing about off plan project is that it gives you uh, easy access into the related investment number two it is affordable okay so properties that you buy as off plan projects you know are way below market values the actual value of a five bedroom fully detached duplex is 
let's say 100 million naira if it's entering the market as off plan it could sell for let's say 80 million naira by that you are getting it a bit cheaper so when it is not completed you can sell for a hundred or for a hundred and two or for a hundred and ten or a hundred and five so if you are making over 20 million naira as returns on your investment you see also you have flexibility of payment thirdly you enter the market with a low capital or with a tiny piece of the lump sum that you should have just paid at a go so this is more flexible this is more convenient and this is uh, more profitable for you as a real estate investor there are a lot of information we can share in this regard but i'll just drop this here if you have questions if you have comments please Put, type a comment below and I'll respond to you or you could reach me on 070-3077-9269. Remember, my passion is to give you quality information that will help you make the right decision in the real estate space. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also do not forget to click on the bell sign so that you will be notified whenever I share videos uh, about real estate that might interest you. Thank you for watching. Have a good